Hello guys and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Way of Life. In the previous episode we got... we died, obviously, and we got a new character here, this little boy now. He has a guardian, we've chosen this woman for him, obviously. And she needs a husband, can I arrange the marriage for her? And she could move to my land then. She will say yes, then she will move to my land, and then I can have her as a guardian in my land. That wouldn't be that bad. Do it. Awesome. If they say yes, that's great. He will he will have an excellent wife. And yes, I'm losing Guardian. But that's okay because I can have her immediately pretty much. My guy, he has this wife. Oh the steward, sorry, that's the old steward guy. That was your wife, and she's going to educate the child, which is me. And now, what's her name? What's her name? That was her, wasn't it? Quick, sightful, yep, yeah, that's the lady. That's the lady I wanted, yes. And of course they have to say yes, because they don't have a choice. That will also improve opinions of everybody on me. Perfect. Okay, so we have that going. My king is at war. Oh my god, with Byzantium Empire. What are they fighting for? Arbera. Alright, so it's my king that started the war over this little land in here. And that's going to be interesting because let's compare the forces there. My king has 1200 troops. Whereas Byzantium has 1600. The only thing is, the Byzantium has to travel all the way there for this land to get to us. So possibly they can win the war before anything bad happens, really, too. Before we, we can win the war before the Byzantium forces can arrive to us. That's going to be an interesting war to observe for my king. Also, the good thing is, he will lose some troops so I can take over the land from him if I have to. What he should be doing is assaulting this thing. You have 3000 men there, mate. You should be assaulting that. Okay, so there are things in here. We improved the relationship with some... Alright, the good news, the missionary Ferreira. During the visit, the court, bishop, whatever. Poison is slender and envious rumored about his spiritual reader. Okay. Why are we doing slating a spiritual reader? We shouldn't be doing that. We're going to change that in a second. In the meantime, my steward, steward wants to go to a duel. Well, I need to agree on that, unfortunately. Who are you going to duel? Your marshal is not bad, actually. My steward and my son chancellor are both going to fight. Well, go for a duel. See how it goes for you guys. Hopefully not too bad. Mm, I was trying to do things here and I forgot now what I was doing completely. Never mind, yeah, so we're going to observe the war in here. So, my, yeah, my king should be assaulting this land like crazy. You want to... you don't want to siege it forever. Because there is no point, there is what? Six... Thousand men there, you could assault that. And win that easily. When I see he's sieging these two lands at the same time. Alright, that's interesting. How is the Byzantium doing in the meantime? The Byzantium is defending against Byzantium Revolt. Alright. Defending against whatever our guy. Some other revolt. And is a truce. Okay, so Byzantium is busy fighting some rebels there, so it may be a good time to strike actually for my king. As well as moving all his troops there, but now he could easily assault that. I will leave him to him for now. And see how it goes. Maybe he will take over that land. Wouldn't be bad if he did, because if I take over land from him eventually in the future, should be fine. The biggest tower in Ancona is. Staggering high, but I, I have decided to climb it all the way up. What am I doing? I shouldn't. On the outside, I saw a real lumber in the room. At the top, 
and shouted a greeting. She was not impressed. Okay, she will deal with my curiosity. We'll see what she does to me. Telling lies just seems so wrong, and I have gained a honest trait. Is she honest? She's deceitful, she will tell me not to. Come on, tell me not to. No? Really? Is she going to allow me to be honest? That's very unusual for Guardian to allow you opposite traits to what they hold. I guess it's not too bad. Plus 2 diplomacy, same trait plus 10. Having a good diplomacy would be nice. Okay, so we have a spy master. My courtier, whose spy mastering is 10. And my spy master. He doesn't like me, so why would I want him to be my spy master? My spy master likes him for 55. Give him a chance. Give him a chance, we're going to keep him for now. I'm 7 now, so it's going okay slowly. Be even better if I was getting claims back. That this guy was really good at getting claims. Okay, somebody's raiding us again. These raids are annoying because I can't stop them. They too fast to leave my land. Unless I will try to get to them the other way. Let's go that way. I wonder if I can get there from Rome faster. Hopefully yes. Hopefully yes. Let's see. Because if we can engage them in this, the war, then it should be fine. No, they're leaving. And they left. Well, it was worth a try. Fortunately, there's nothing I can do to stop their raids, so they will keep raiding my vassal's land and taking the gold from him. The only good thing is I can send the troops there. King of Francias... He's the king of everything. King of Middle Francia, East Francia, whatever he is the king of. He has four kingdoms. Really? Is he that strong? Yeah, he is. That's fine, that's fine. As long as Byzantium keeps on us, we should be fine. Our Duchy of Arcona, look at that. We are taking most of our kingdom, really. Just need more land. And then I should win the war with my own king. Okay, we improved the relationship with the priest there. Let's see if I have any other priests that don't like me, vassals. This guy is not a massive fan of me. Neither is this one. Where are you? Go to location again. Bishop of whatever he is. Okay, he's somewhere here. Ravenna, that's where he is. Why well, are we going to send my guy, my priest guy, there? Prove relationship with Ravenna, please. Awesome. Can I set any laws? I didn't. I haven't been in charge for that long. That's my pretenders. Hopefully, they can have children and somebody can take over if I die, because at the moment we're really ending game here. If not, I can get children quickly. We'll have to work on that very, very quickly. As soon as I come of age, we have to get children. Because if not, the situation is horrible. Lords of Middle Francia have approved the Institute of Unlimited Crown Law. That's fine. I don't care about Middle Francia. Why do I have this guy there all the time? Let's find him. Do I have to... S okay, whatever he is, I don't care. I don't want you as a main character anymore. Well, I think I had him years ago to get somebody married to him and then I forgot about it completely. And that was the issue with him. Alright, my opponent here is losing troops in some sort of revolts there. So if we get the claims on his land, we can take over. I have two big claims, both against Byzantium Empire. Which I'm not prepared to take, unfortunately, so no. But at least I have gold now. Ok, 
Can I? Let's check if I can actually go borrow money. I can borrow money from Jules if anything happens, so I can start spending the money I have now. Which is not bad. Okay, so let's see. Can I expand this land to anything? Germanic infantry, that would be bad. Stables would give me some more light cavalry. Heavy infantry, because I have German infantry, that gives me a heavy infantry attack, so let's focus on having a lot of heavy infantry then. We'll have them, that will take two years to build. Just perfect. We'll have a big force there. I keep my land consolidated. Kid mocked me, and I can't, <coughs> can't be blamed for punching him in the face and giving him a nosebleed. I hate him, I get to try him rough. Will I keep it? Well, I hope I will. Rough is not bad. Plus three marshals is not bad to have. Even at the cost of intrigue and diplomacy, I'm okay with that. Fortunately, guys, in one of these episodes that are not going that great. Because I cannot do anything. My king is the winning the war. Look at that. He's now marching and taking over the land of Byzantium. You look at the map in here, that's Byzantium islands there. And he's doing nicely there. Look at that, he beat some forces. We improved some relationships, that's great. How is the Byzantium doing? They still have 15,000 troops, they could crush him if they wanted to. If they move their troops, oh no! 15 versus 14,000, that's interesting, that could be an interesting fight. Especially that he's occupying this land in here, maybe he could claim some more. The only problem is in this game you can't get a bigger war score. Whatever you claim, start a war for, is going to be a war about. So even if he takes over the entire Byzantium, destroy his army, he's only going to get this one county. Okay, look at that, my king combined his troops. I'm hoping that he's going to go into some big battle with his 3000 men in here. Army of Byzantium Empire, they're running away. It's a really interesting war, because that can help me a lot. If my king is weak, I can then rebel against him and do things. At the moment, you know, he's too strong. Even with my, all the land I have, he's still stronger than me. I wonder if I can get retinues, though. Retinues would help me tremendously here, here really. Let's check it out. Retinues. I could get some. I could get some... The cheapest one, possibly, here. Some archers and some heavy infantry. Not bad. I could get some and they would cost me only... To 350, so yes. Okay, so I become proud as well. I'm going to be right madam here, look at that. I'm going to be honest, so brutally honest. I'm <laughs> rough, <laughs> very easy to get angry. And proud, so full of myself, great. Come on Byzantium, have some proper war in here, mate. Have a massive battle, finish it. Are you going to Ferrara? You are. Why are you bouncing back and forth? Just go and do it. Just fight him. That would help us. Because regardless who loses troops, I can take over land. I can't do any plots because I'm a child, so that's the other boring bits here. I have these two women here. I can release them, I guess they mean nothing to me. Nobody wants them. And arrange the marriage to her and that will release her. I have nobody to marry her. Release from prison. Okay, my guy will not agree on that. I mean, he will not agree on this one either. So they will have to stay in prison until I become adult. Because that's how it is. Alright, this anthem is going. Come on, show me. Your troops versus them. That's going to be a glorious battle here, look at that. Alright, it's actually going in this, the way of my king. He's still going to lose some troops. But Byzantium is going to take the major beating there, look at that. 
Oh, I don't know. I don't know. He actually lost. Look at that. His last remaining forces actually survived that. <laughs> They're going to take beating even there. All right, that's interesting. My king is actually losing that. The battle swing there, and he can't win that now. I'm really sorry, but his troops are going to get regular beating now. That's the that's the thing. Once once you lose one battle. There is nothing you can do. You're going to keep losing because your morale is so low that you don't even fight. You just run away and being, you're being shot in the back. So my king here is losing all his troops. 3,000 men left and that's basically this little army here and few of his vassals. He's going to lose prestige in this battle. He's going to lose land and everything. Come on Byzantium, what are you doing? Don't let him rest. Kill his forces. Okay, so the guys don't like the Pope. That's okay, I guess. You look at the maps here. My dynasty pretty much owns nothing anymore. Dynasties, that's mine. Dynasty map is not the best. Revolt risk. Just quick in the maps, really, because there is nothing else to do for me. It's the only thing I have to wait for now. It's to become an adult, and it takes forever. But the good, I'm really happy that Byzantium actually beat my king. They took heavy beating there as well, but... My king will combine his forces now, we'll see. If he pulls some mercenaries, he should be fine. Do you have money for mercenaries? You don't really. Barely can afford them, that's fine. Well, he can still lose his troops even more. That's going to be interesting. Okay guys, I think we're going to finish the episode in here. Unfortunately, sorry for that, that nothing happened, but that's the nature of the game. If you are a child, you cannot do anything. So, it's only six more years to left. I'm going to do that. Okay, so what is here? As you ride through the empty corridors, you take the castle. Would you stick across your re regent? He was annoying me for a while now. He's stealing money. And yes, let's charge him. Let's charge him. Then he died. Okay, so he's no longer guardian of my daughter. That's fine. I have to include another regent. We're going to get another regent somehow. For now, we need somebody who is good. This dude is not bad. Let's take him. Uh, let's fabricate the claims. That's fine. And a few things change. I have a new regent. My spy master is my regent. My spy master likes me quite a bit, and I like him. So everything is going well. My daughter, my sister, needs to be educated. Educate the child. And I need somebody who don't like me that much do it. My new Chancellor can do it. I will improve his opinion of me for 20. He is on 25 and that's great. Okay guys, so yeah, at least we finish with some kick off there. We're going to become ambitious as well. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time.